from an SEO point of view of someone that searches your name, typically your LinkedIn profile will be on the first page um, where Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and other social media platforms um, tend to be a lot lower. It can almost act like your own website or your own online CV. You do definitely want to be mindful of what you're posting on there as it can be a simple reason why someone may not select you to make the interview stage or perhaps once you've made the interview stage uh, and it's down to you and one other, a controversial post might be a red flag for an organization. Uh, first tip, instead of just listing your job title, use the headline space to highlight your specialties or your unique value proposition. For example, strength conditioning specializing in athletic performance enhancement. So the beauty of that, like I said, it's searchable LinkedIn. So if someone had searched strength and conditioning coach, you will pop up. But if they had looked up athletic performance, you will also pop up in this instance. So you've got an extra couple of keywords there. So if you have a look at my profile, which I've just got here, my title is AFL strength and conditioning coach. Set up your SSI, which is our social index. Uh, I've got the link in the show notes for you to create this, and this will give you a bit of a benchmark on areas compared to people in your industry that you're ranking well compared to areas that you're not. So perhaps you might be ranking really well from a, from a engagement point of view, or you could be um, ranking really well from educational content. I'll just give you a bit of an audit onto your account and gives you a good guidance on where you currently sit. Tip number four, your summary should tell your professional story and express your passion for strength and conditioning, highlight your philosophy, expertise, and what sets you apart from others in the field. So this may be tricky uh, if you're just starting out and you just launched your LinkedIn profile. You may feel oh, you haven't done a lot and there's not really much to talk about, but you can still reference why you started to perhaps study bachelor of sports science degree or what your favorite subjects were or perhaps you're volunteering at a local football club anything in there that for your about you section try and expand it with as much detail as possible that will also rank well with google and help with your search engine optimization for your account tip number five list all relevant roles and clearly explain your responsibilities and achievements in each position use bullet points to for clarity and quantify your achievements when possible. An example might be you won't be working for a football team and you help the football team by with their max speed by half the list hitting a new PB in season 2024, for example. That could be a good thing to list. This is not for everyone. I say, for example, that's not a, a strategy that I've gone down. I've chosen to not really talk about the specifics of what I've achieved at certain football clubs. Regularly post articles, polls, or updates about your work, recent trends in the industry, and insights. This can help establish you as a thought leader in your field. So my favorite and what I get most engagement with, and it's not for everyone, everyone has different experiences and different strengths in what they like to post, but I love polls. I love to get a bit of insight into the data in what people believe. So I keep it quite simple, the polls. It might be, you know, did you, how many of you had your Bachelor of Sports Science before your first full-time role in elite sport?